some sort of communication comes in. Swift moving communication, travel potentially. We have the chariot and we have the eight of wands. These can both be about travel. So some sort of travel around this position of leadership, this authority position, this emperor type personality could be that you're embodying this personality or, or these energies, or it could be that somebody around you is bringing this into your, is affecting your foundation with their personality. Um, but it could also be swift moving communication. Like somebody comes in with a message. It could be a message of love. This is often called the Cupid's card. These are the arrows of love. It could be that somebody like this, this emperor type energy is bringing forward some sort of message to you that significantly affects your stability. Hi Aquarius, welcome to your general tarot reading for December 2020. We're going to take a look into the energies that are surrounding you. We'll take a deeper dive into where you're at with your own personal development, the potential that you have at this moment in time. So I've already shuffled your cards off camera and I'm going to give them a last shuffle here and we will sync up. Um, if you're interested in a love reading for your sign, I have published that video and it is going to be in the queue below this video. So check that out as well. If this reading resonates with you, please hit the like button so that it can be circulated more widely. And also consider subscribing to my channel. I would love to have you here. I'm also doing personal readings at this time. So if you'd like to learn more, dive a little bit deeper with me, I'm happy to do that with you. The link is below in the description box. <clears throat> Alrighty, so let's cut the deck three ways and see what's up for you in December, Aquarius. In the position of your heart. Oh, wow, beautiful. Nine of Cups. This is the wish card. Make a wish now because it will very likely come true. Yeah. Feeling very emotionally satisfied. Like something went right for you and you're feeling it here in the heart space. Very content and satisfied. That's beautiful. What you think about it all is the sun of discs. Extremely focused on a goal, on hitting the mark. Extremely focused on a target. This is very meditative energy as well. Look how balanced this person is as they arch back in order to hit this goal. And they're surrounded by all of this earth energy. That's gorgeous. Very focused mentally and also at peace, at peace, just like laser focus. <laughs> I just heard sniper breathing. <laughs> I don't know why that came up, but I guess in order to like hit your mark, there's something that you do physically in order to calm your nervous system so that you can have a steady hand. So you might be engaging in some meditative practices right now that has just you in alignment with a laser type focus, reaching your goal in that way. That's in the position of your mind, what you think about it all. In the position of your body or the foundation, we have the emperor. Well, it's the number four, which makes it appropriate to be in this position, in the position of the foundation, because four is about stability. It's one of the most stable structures, the square, right? It can also be slightly rigid in its negative connotation. In this particular card, what we have is somebody who has amassed a certain amount of wealth and abundance around them, but they're not quite connected with it. In a more positive reading of this, this is somebody who is in their power, able to delegate responsibility, able to lead a group of people, assuming a leadership position in their own life, has some authority over others. And people listen, people follow. This is a leader. This is in the position of your body or the foundation of the reading. In the past, we have the two of discs, more earth energy. This is a choice 
that you've made in the past. It could also be a juggling of a lot of practical responsibilities, uh, either in your household, in your family, in your work life, you know, a lot of balls up in the air and juggling it with a great deal of competence and confidence. There is power available here as well. Look at the crescent moon in between the four trees. Again, stability. So in the past, some choice being made and uh, assuming a lot of responsibility and juggling your responsibility, caring for your responsibility uh, very effectively. So also in the position of the present moment, which is also the position of the heart, is the nine of cups. Some wish came true. Some something uh, realized that made you feel very emotionally content, a very satisfied, like I did a good job, or yes, it's happening. In the future, we have the shaman of swords, powerful, speaking your truth. Again, this is a leadership energy, speaking your truth, having a higher vision. People, it's, this is like advocating for something. It's activism. It's using your voice, activating your voice on behalf of others to make a change, to create change. And this is about truth and clarity. Wow, okay. Let's clarify. What was this? Let's look at your heart, the nine of cups in the position of your heart. What was this about? What, why are you feeling this way? <laughs> what wish came true for you, Aquarius, that you're really feeling in your heart space in the present moment? This card always reminds me that there is great power in visualizing what it is that you want and incorporating into that visualization or that meditation, the feeling of the thing, the emotions behind the thing. Oh, Aquarius, the master. Yeah, you feel like you've mastered something. You have this juggling of responsibilities here that you're doing uh, in a very competent, effective way. Mastering your own life in a sense. Wow, that's in the position of your heart in the present moment. That's beautiful. What is this thing you're focused on mentally? What is the sun of discs energy? This is also the suns in this deck are um, the knights and they are about taking action. So taking action around some sort of goal, some sort of objective is on your mind. Whoa, the miser popped out. This is interesting. Hoarding. Holding on. Reservation, conservation. Bricking yourself off. Protecting your jewels, protecting your riches in this card. In the traditional deck, it's uh, the four of pentacles. Is It shows a person that has four pentacles surrounding them and they're holding on to their pentacles. So there's a holding on happening here that's clarifying this very focused son of discs energy, taking action around something. Let's keep going with that. What is this uh, son of discs, four of pentacles energy? Both inner earth energy. Clarify some more for this. This is where your head is at, what you're thinking about it all. In both of these images, we see the son of discs is arch, is, is an archer, is engaging in this activity of archery. And there is this moment before he releases his bow where he is holding the bow back and positioning, right? Like really narrowing narrowing in, focusing in, and he's holding, he has a holding moment. This person is also holding, but in a different way, with a different energy, like, like guarded, like, no, I'm protecting this. <clears throat> so these two cards fell out to clarify. The Empress reversed and the uh, Seven of Swords. Some sort of hidden motive 
hidden agenda, a stealing away. And then the Empress reverse. A disconnect with your creativity. This is all very interesting. Let's move along and see if we can make sense of those energies there together in the position of your mind. Let's look at, I'm also very curious about this emperor in your foundation. There is an emotional detachment seen in this emperor like needing to be emotionally detached to a certain extent in order to assume his role. We have the chariot. This is the emperor. In my mind, I always imagine this person as the actual emperor moving forward in a very confident manner, um, affecting, effecting uh, change, having an effect through his personality and his willpower. Those are the two vehicles, two vehicles by which he manifests what he wants, how he creates change in the world around him, how he um, impresses upon the world is through his personality and through his willpower. Confidence, strength. And then we have the Eight of Wands another card drop? I don't think so. The Eight of Wands is also clarifying the Emperor in the position of your foundation. Some sort of communication comes in. Swift moving communication, travel potentially. We have the Chariot and we have the Eight of Wands. These can both be about travel. So some sort of travel around this position of leadership, this authority position, this Emperor type personality could be that you're embodying this personality. Or, or these energies, or it could be that somebody around you is bringing this into your, is affecting your foundation with their personality. Um, but it could also be swift moving communication, like somebody comes in with a message, it could be a message of love. This is often called the Cupid's card. These are the arrows of love. It could be that somebody like this, this emperor type energy is bringing forward some sort of message to you that significantly affects your stability. All right. What is this two of discs energy in your past? What decision was made here? What were you up to? What were you juggling here in the past Aquarius? Whatever this, this, Progression from past to future is one that is very distinct. You have the two of discs in the past, so you're juggling a lot of uh, responsibility, practical responsibilities, um, effectively. And then we have the, the seven of cups just came up. But let's continue this thought. There's this progression from past to future. Here we have you juggling something very effectively in the past, may, possibly making a decision about something in the present moment, making a wish, feeling very satisfied, emotionally content, feeling like you mastered something or you are the master of something. Um, this falls in line with emperor em energy as well. And then in the future, from this springboard, using your voice to activate something on behalf of others or or on behalf of yourself like using your voice in a very powerful way to speak the truth to 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 bring clarity to a situation to affect change and then in order to clarify the two of discs we have the seven of cups which is having a lot of options around you having a lot of choices there are it can be very distracting energy it can be very confusing like which choice do i make right it's very illusory at the same time it's not quite real but you here are grounded in the choice that you make so it could be that in the past there were there were quite um a lot of diverse energy surrounding you a lot of options and you stood very solidly uh, on your ground 
and juggled that energy, managed that energy and made the choice that you needed to make. And it brought you to this place of feeling like, yeah, I mastered that shit, right? What is the Shaman of Swords energy about? What are you using your voice for? What are you activating here? We know you're activating your voice, but for what? On behalf of whom? Oh, the wounded healer. Ah, you might encounter some challenges here. This is competently and confidently and strongly meeting a challenge. It's not just about defending yourself, but it's having the courage and the bravery to stand up and do that in a very effective way. Um, somebody here has been, has experienced a psychic wound. They've been through a lot and they're at the point where all they see is the enemy. You know, they've been battling for so long that everywhere they look, they see the enemy and they have sort of a shroud of paranoia and skepticism around them. So using your voice to meet some sort of challenge. Doing battle. Having gone through the battle. This is somebody who's very experienced with meeting the challenge. Interesting. Ooh, shore up Aquarius in the present moment because... You will be challenged once again in the future. You will meet that challenge. Um, but harness the power that's available to you now. Because you are mastering something. This emperor energy in the foundation is really interesting to me. I don't know if this is you stepping into this type of leadership position or this type of energy, this type of role, or if somebody's bringing this to you through some sort of communication, through, through some sort of message, could be about travel as well. All right, let us pull a card of guidance for you. In your mind space, you have experienced some sort of deception that has put you in a place of retraction. Like I'm holding, I'm like defending myself. I'm holding on to what is mine. And it's that place that has you somewhat disconnected with your creative force, your source energy. Ooh, Turkey reversed. Um, and this seems to be something that you're very, very hyper-focused on right now. Let's read about Turkey reversed. I think Turkey is the giveaway. Oh, interesting. We're talking about holding on and Turkey is the giveaway. Okay, well, let's read. Let's read about it. <clears throat> there are several aspects to pulling the gobbler card in the reversed position. Are you gobbling up anything and everything out of fear of lack? That's exactly what the four of pentacles is about. It's about poverty mentality, right? Like I don't have enough, so I'm going to hoard this. I'm going to hold on to this tightly. Are you holding on too tight and refusing to let go of a dime for charity? It could be that the Scrooge in you has grown accustomed to the miserly aspect of living. If not, you might look at the possibility that you are fearful of spending money at this time. Another aspect of contrary gobbling is the idea that the world owes you something and that you do not need to recycle the energy. The buck stops here may only mean that it stops in your bank account. On all levels of this contrary message, the keynote is that generosity of spirit is being neglected. This can be towards self or others. Remember, never give to receive. That is manipulation. Giving is without regret and with a joyful heart or the giveaway has lost its true meaning. So there's a very powerful message here for you to loosen up to, you know, like this. If you have any 
feeling like there's not enough, if you're coming from this place of lack, which would be Empress Energy Reverse as well, right? She's all about like infinite abundance. If you go out into nature, which the Empress is intrinsically connected to, Mother Earth Energy, you will notice, you will notice infinite abundance all around you never ending abundance. So if you are battling the sphere of not having enough and coming from this place of lack and needing to protect what is yours, there needs to be some sort of loosening up of that so that you can recycle that energy so that you can get back into the flow of give and take. Um, and practice, practice giving away what you feel you can. Um, also generosity of spirit, generosity with yourself. Maybe there's a need for you to uh, step into more self-care, loving yourself in the way that you, you can at this time. And that doesn't take a week, that takes a minute or it's a, it's a beautiful Epsom salt bath or it's a nice meal that you made for yourself really treating yourself very kindly at this time. The wish card, the nine of cups. This is something that you're manifesting at this time, the master, this master energy over the nine of cups. This is a message of It's all available to you, pure potential. Whatever you wish for, you will receive. This is the thing that needs to be, the understanding that needs to be mastered. And it is possibly the treatment for this fear that you're not going to have enough. Wow, let's pull one more card for you. Aquarius, if this reading is resonating with you, please hit the like button. And leave a comment below. I would love to hear how this is playing out for you or how, how you're feeling about this reading, how it resonates. I love talking with you all. Whoops. Also, if you'd like to dive, dive deeper into what's coming for you in December, I'm offering personal readings right now. The link to my Etsy shop is in the description box below. Guidance for Aquarius. Whoa. Hold on guidance for Aquarius as they deal with this energy of lack and also making a wish to bring more abundance into their lives. You have st such stability in your foundation here with the chariot aligning opposing forces, this emperor energy in your foundation. Something is moving fast, either a communication or literal travel. Spirit grounded is what I'm seeing here. Whoa, okay. We have two cards, Mary Magdalene, which is unconditional love, beautiful. Love yourself, love others. And every situation, no matter what the outward appearances may be tapping into unconditional love for yourself and for others and then Rhiannon ooh, beautiful sorceress you are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality and that is exactly what this nine of cups energy is about sorceress the master visualizing what it is that you want because now is a perfect time for you to experience the abundance that the universe has to offer. All right, Aquarius, I'm wishing you the best in December. Take good care.